to sold out Baltimore Arena. First round action in the East region tonight. And it'll be the Drexel Dragons, the North Atlantic Conference champions. Upstart seated 13th against Oklahoma State, seated number four. And the winner of this game will face Alabama that had to go into overtime to be Penn in the first game. In Oklahoma State playing in the number one rated conference, the Big Eight won the conference championship in Kansas City last week. Dick Stockton and Billy Packer, and no wonder they've got the great Mr. Outside, Mr. Inside combination. Perfect combination for Eddie Sutton, Bryant Reeves, a seven-footer, and Randy Rutherford, the great outside perimeter shooter who also rebounds pretty well. Maybe as good as any guard you'll see at 6-2 a game. And what does Drexel do? The uh, Drexel Dragons uh, possess the second leading rebounder in the nation in Malik Rose. Powerful inside player, but going up against a man quite a bit taller tonight. Be interested to see what he can do with it. All right, and uh, here is what the two centers in the game will be going at it. Rose and Brian Reeves have to say about tonight's matchup. We really have to you know, stay focused and move the ball and hit our open jump shots. and. You know, when I get the ball inside, I have to try to, you know, do whatever I can to get the ball around, in, or under, or over a uh, big country. We have to come out and try to establish an inside game right off the bat. You know, we have great perimeter shooters, but, you know, Coach Sutton's philosophy is once you establish the inside, then it, uh, they have their defense has to collapse. Then our outside shooters can get wide open shots. You know, they're good enough that they can step up and knock it down. So, you know, I definitely think that we have to try to establish an inside game. That's the big country, and he's going to be the big man, and along with Randy Rutherford, the one-two punch for Oklahoma State. Hudgens, Rose, Redmond, Holden, and Myers will be looking at Brian Holden, who is the second-leading scorer and uh, one of the outstanding players on Drexel. So it's going to be a long haul against Oklahoma State as Eddie Sutton in his 17th NCAA appearance with four different schools. And it'll be Oklahoma State in white. And Drexel in blue, Tom Harrington, Ed Gatterdam, and Mike Sanzier, the officials, and we're underway. And controlled by the Cowboys. Andre Owens. Double teaming inside. You can see that Malik Rose has got his eye on big country and is going to allow Pierce to wander. Go to Big Country, quick pass out to Scott Pierce. First shot of the game misses. Fighting inside is Pierce, and it's going to be Oklahoma State's ball. And uh, in talking to Bill Herrian yesterday, he says, the guy we want to stop is Rutherford even more than Reeves. What do you think of that? Well, I think that that probably is a better opportunity to stop him, but you can see that he's got a special eye with Rose trying to help Hudgens down inside. And now you know what he means. Randy Rutherford averaging 20 points a game, a feared outside shooter, gives the Cowboys a 2 to nothing lead. Came out yesterday with a toothpick in his mouth, hitting jumpers from everywhere in the practice session. Leland Paco Redmond from Houston, Texas, a freshman as the point guard. Other games underway, Tulane and BYU and the rest. Nice cross-court pass. Holden. This is Rutherford. You mentioned his rebounding. He's averaging six rebounds and second on the team behind Reeves. Excellent leaper and really has a nose for the ball. Allowed to go in there. Pierce wide open. He's going to have plenty of those shots if this is going to be the defense Drexel's going to play. Rose is averaging 13 rebounds a game. Pick that one off. Number two rebounder in the whole nation behind Kurt Thomas. Rose is going to put it up. Collins the rebound for Oklahoma State. They won the Big 8 championship beating Iowa State after the Cyclones upset Kansas. Here's Reeves with a turnaround. And Rose fighting in traffic gets it. Well, one of the things I liked what Big Country did is the ball came inside. He realized it was a double, passed it right back outside. Myers with a pass. This is Rose trying to give Reeves all sorts of trouble and coming out of the Packers, Andre Owens. And a great play by Paco Redmond. And over and back is the call, so it'll be Oklahoma State's ball. You're right, uh, Dick. Excellent play by Redmond. Put a nose right down on the floor. Bill wanting to slow things down right here. He doesn't want to see a run-shoot game. He's a young coach on the rise, to be sure. Fourth year, former assistant at BU to Mike Jarvis and then at George Washington. On the steal, Jeff Myers. Oh, he's having all kinds of trouble getting his balance out here. Telegraph that pass on the inside. Easily intercepted. 
Eddie Sutton, four schools, Creighton, Arkansas, Kentucky, and now Oklahoma State teams he's brought to the tournament. And only man in the history of the game to do that. Four different schools to the NCAA tournament. Floors must be slippery out there. Guys are going everywhere, Dick. Steele. Terry Collins. And Collins is fouled by Holden. Explosive quickness on the part of Collins. Well, Drexel is a, uh, another school from Philadelphia. 22 and 7 is their record. They beat Northeastern handily. Last year, Drexel was beaten by the Temple Owls in the first round. Temple tonight lost to Cincinnati. So it's not been a good night for Philadelphia's teams. Has not in. Uh... Coppin State went up and beat uh, St. Joe's, so basically the Big Five having their hands full. And losing the first game of this nighttime doubleheader in overtime to Alabama. Collins, we talked about explosive quickness, was a track star and just took off on the other end. Not a great shooter, defensive specialist on this ball club. But he is their best free throw shooter, so uh, unlikely miss there. Over two. Surprising for Terry Collins. Right, 80% 80, 80 free throw shooter. He's cussing himself out. He's going down the court. Not at anybody else, just himself. Two and a half minutes gone by. Two to nothing to score. And on a turnover, here comes Owens out of the pack. Sloppy start. Teams haven't settled down yet. See, Pierce is not being guarded. He's got to take jump shots. That's what he's going to do. And Malik Rose. I like the way he's aggressive to the hoop. He is. He's a wide body inside. Bill Lyon, a fine writer, said he's the best rebounder in Philadelphia since Charles Barkley. Ooh. He showed some signs of it right there. Four rebounds for him. Here's Redmond. Short with another one. Rose against Reeves. Tell you, he went up strong against Big Country. He's got hands with glue on him. Did you notice he was really off balance and picked that one off? Straight man. The big difference is that they're not guarding Pierce. Three and a half minutes gone by, and Randy Rutherford's basket, the only scoring thus far. Well, that's tripling down, not doubling down inside. And they're going to call the offensive foul against Andre Owens. I think what's happening, Dick, is the fact that they are, they talked yesterday, Bill Aaron talked yesterday about keeping Rutherford down, but they're really playing two men on Reeves, not guarding Pierce at all. Pierce coming out of the basketball game right now, and it's really important for Oklahoma State to get a shooter that can stand at about 16 feet and just take easy jump shots. Hudgens goes to, sits down. Jason Scare, number 43, has come in for Oklahoma State. of opportunity to take the shots. Here is Owens. Batted away. David Fry came in for Drexel and he might have committed the foul. He was back there defending along with Jeff Roberts. Myers on a tremendous block for a guy 6-3. Owens going up. You see Myers coming out the side of the screen. Look at that guy get up. Terrific hustle. Owens took that ball strong to the hoop. That's about the third time tonight, Dick. He's picked one off. He's a burly guard, and is Owens, who is a junior from South Bend, Indiana. Top playmaker for Oklahoma State. Set a school record with 223 assists. He, too, having trouble from the free throw line. So David Fry, number 23 in for Drexel, and Oklahoma State brought in Keanu Roberts, also number 23. Owens has had five games this year with 10 or more assists. Oklahoma State is 0 for 4 from the free throw line and is still 2 to nothing. And we have played more than four minutes so far. Owens causing all Lord kinds Neal's of problems. Overby. Rutherford clears. Relatively small team out there for Oklahoma State. The only tree is Reeves. And Reeves can't control it. Or he does into the hands of Overby at Drexel. Drexel's 0 for 7. Reeves is still down. They've got a 5 on 4 situation if they can take advantage. Schoolyard game. Stepping on the line, turns it over. Reeves. And Reeves is slowing down. Yeah, he hurt himself. He hurt his hand diving over the cheerleaders. It's his right hand. That could be important. Basketball championship on CBS. Here we'll see the case where 
Reeves goes over the cheerleaders, hits on the ground very hard. He went to the bench a little sore, Dick, but he's back out there now and being double teamed. Malik Rose on him right now, man to man, and boy, they're body to body. Terry Collins back in for Oklahoma State. There's Rutherford swinging around. Keontae Roberts, scare. To get it into the middle, collapse on Reeves, turn around, he's got it, and the first points of the game for Brian Reeves. There was a case where Holden it was caught in between. If you're going to double down, you got to double down immediately on the pass into Reeves' hands because he's got great hands and a soft touch on the turnaround. Nearly four minutes without a point scored for either team. Drexel still has yet to score, and we played more than five minutes of this contest. Fry now Rose. Reeves won't go for the fake. Gets a piece of the shot by Malik Rose. Rose was better off just taking a clean jump shot. As Reeves was not, is not a big shot blocker and was not going for any of those pump fakes. Here's Reeves out to scare. Here Reeves backing in, trying to stay out of that three-second line. They gave Collins the shot, but he wouldn't take it. Interesting team is Oklahoma State. You know, basically two primary scorers. They don't have the great shooter. This man right here is it. Rutherford misses a three, and the rebound taken down by Brian Holden. Ruth, you know, you've got one shooter out there from the outside. Very difficult to go ahead and make it happen. So, Eddie, you can see what Eddie Sutton's done with this club to win the Big Eight, but with primarily two scores. Meanwhile, more than six minutes gone by, and no points for Drexel, trailing four to nothing. They're 0 for 9 from the field. And you mentioned Oklahoma State with two scores. The rest are defensive guys who do a good yep. job. That was a bad pass over Reeves' head. That's not an easy thing to do. Six and a half minutes going by, and Drexel has nothing. Four to nothing, Oklahoma State. Holden tried to force it into Rose. Oh, still no points. Collins the rebound. Keontae Roberts, interesting game. This is Baltimore. It's a baseball town, and we've got a shutout going, Dick. Well, they got some baseball kind of sport going on now with this score. 0 for 10 now for the Dragons. And look at where the defense is. Everybody inside 12 feet. Just giving jump shots except Myron Rutherford. Can't give him the shot. I mean, you got to take those shots. Robert's not even looking for us. Scare. Maybe that's why they're giving it to him. They're taking wild ones. Well, it's four to nothing. Really kind of amazing. And I've seen Oklahoma State play a number of times this year, but Drexel saying, hey, if somebody else other than these two guys are going to beat us, go ahead and take your best shot at it. Holden to Myers. Myers trying to get in the lane, which he does foul. You know, what's as amazing as Drexel has no points is the fact that Oklahoma State has only four at this point. Owens will come back into the game for, Oklahoma for Oklahoma State. State, Oklahoma State. Scott Pierce, as well as Scott Pierce and uh, coming in for Jason Drexel Yoder. will be Jason Yoder who's a big man he's a 6'10 freshman from Palmyra as you look at Oklahoma State's facts out of Stillwater outstanding golf and baseball teams oh, Oklahoma incredible State. golf uh, program three, three of their young men on their college team qualified this year for tour stops. Jeff Myers gets Drexel's first point after seven minutes and 31 seconds. Well, they may be cheering, but normally when you get your first point at the 12-29 mark, you're down by 18 or 19. They're down by three. They're down by two. Two. Amazing. Four to two. He may not get into the hundreds in this game. I'm not. I remember last year, Oklahoma State had Brooks Thompson, which would give them that other shooter. Right now, they're going to have to find somebody else that will put it up because three men are playing against Brian Reeves. They are giving them the shot. Owens hits the basket. That's a three-point shot for Owens. And it is 7-2 now in favor of Oklahoma State. Oh, that's his 20th three on the year, and he's going to get a lot of opportunities tonight to put him up if this defense is going to continue. Yoder setting the screen for Cornelius Overby. Go inside of Malik Rose, trying to double down, triple down on him, and pass to Yoder, deflected into the hands of Reed. Uh, Yoder should have been cut to the basket quicker. Dickie had the perfect angle. Can't fault Rose on that one. Yoder now leaning on big country. Owens. 
Hit one before, Myers gets the rebound. They're keeping Reeves away from that second chance. Well, the other thing about it is with the, the way they're triple teaming him, he has no opportunity to get any space to go get rebounds. And there's Holden with a three-point basket. He has a 68 three-point hoops this year for Drexel. And it's a two-point game. Shooting right at 40% from three. Drexel staying right in here. Third time in the NCAA tournament for the Dragons. They've lost their two previous meetings. Hitting the jumper is Pierce. Well, Pierce can have a 20, 30-point night if he wants to tonight. He just has to say, hey, look, they're going to give me the shot. I can make wide-open foul shots. That's what they amount to. But I like what Bill Herrian's doing here. This, you know, he has no chance to play Reeves straight up. Holden with his second straight three-point basket. He's getting cooking. Brian Holden from Holbrook, Massachusetts, transferred from Boston University. As Bill Herrian was at BU at the time, averaging 17 a game. Good screen from Pierce. Rutherford misses a built call. It's on Pierce, uh, moving screen. Myers is an excellent defensive player going out there on Rutherford and couldn't get through, obviously with a moving screen. Jason Scare and Keani Roberts will check in for the Cowboys in white when we return to Baltimore Arena. This lady doesn't like basketball. Watch what she's sitting next to. Can you? <laughs> oh. oh, my God. What a night. Well, she ought to move upstairs. Yeah, she has to sit there and listen to that tuba all night. Wow. Drexel down by one, nine to eight, an unlikely score here, and a foul away from the ball against the Cowboys. That will be the fourth team foul against Oklahoma State. Into the game is uh, for Drexel. We've got Yoder, Myers, Overby, Holden. Reeves committed the foul his first. Here's Holden, he's hit two for it. Look! Scare the rebound for Oklahoma State. One of those games you said to Eddie Sutton at the 10-minute mark, you're going to have Drexel with eight points. Malik Rose, the fifth member of uh, Drexel's defense, look at him pack it in. Eddie Sutton had probably figured you're up 15. Here he is up two. Up one, rather. There is Keonti Roberts, now scare. Roberts with a jump shot. Rebound taken down by Overby, who's a junior from the Bronx, New York. Nice push out. Malik Rose with a layup. Excellent idea right here because Rose can beat Reeves down the floor. Reeves is really getting frustrated. No space. And Drexel is leading Oklahoma State 10 to 9 after Drexel didn't score for seven and a half minutes. Big country Brian Reeves gets his second basket to give Oklahoma State the lead in a very strange game, Billy Patrick. It is, and, and Dick, you know, he may be better off down on the side of the angle of the lane as opposed to out front because they have a hard time doubling down from the side. I like Malik Rose because he's fighting inside. This time he went up against bigger people who got a piece of the ball. He wanted, he wanted the foul there, didn't get it. Pierce lays it in. Cowboys may be waking up finally. That took a lot out of Reeves. You know that last time he ran all the way down floor and then had the power inside. Tulane leading Brigham Young in the first half. Maryland all over Gonzaga, 23 to 16. And the rest finals, if you haven't seen it yet. Overby throws up the air ball and it'll be Oklahoma State. So, if you're Drexel, you don't want to put up shots that quickly, Dick. You know, use a little bit of the clock because they're frustrating Oklahoma State at this stage. Randy Rutherford, who is the second leading scorer at 20 a game and has two points, comes in. And there is Paco Redmond from Houston, who's started the game at point guard for Drexel. And the craziest game of the year, other than this one for Oklahoma State, was a game where Reeves did not score. Yeah, didn't score a point against Kansas, and Rutherford got 45. He got shot. There you go. Five on four. Oh! Malik Rose, second leading rebounder in the country and enjoying what he's doing. Remember, Malik Rose is from Overbrook High School in Philadelphia, and that high school produced the great Will Chamberlain. Wayne Hightower as well. Wall has it. Another steal. Another steal. This is Myers. Should pass and it back. Myers lays it in with Rutherford behind him, and now it's 14 to 13. Eddie Sutton really hot down the last play, Dick. There was four against one. The four players were Drexel, just beating Oklahoma State down the floor. Eddie looks disgusted over at the Cowboys bench. Pierce open for the shot. And All now right. Cowboys by one. You're right. 
He's got six points, Pierce, and he's already surpassed the season's average because he's wide open. Well, he can go home and play on the playground on a Sunday morning at 7 a.m. and be no more wide open than he is now with nobody on the floor because there's nobody within 10 feet of him when he shoots. Redman over to Yoder. Yoder, a deflection off of Holden. Another turnover. Rutherford all alone down there, but Myers doing an excellent job on him, beats him back. Scare, they give him the shot. They won't give Rutherford the shot. Myers is all over him. Here's Scare off the screen. I tell you, Reeves has not had an offensive rebound. No, he, he really hasn't. After we saw McDice in the first game going over the top of everybody from Penn, Reeves not a leaper, and he's bending over. He's tired. He's been punished inside. Good job by Malik Rose so far. Drexel seated 13th, Oklahoma State 4. Another turnover. That's the eighth of this first half by Drexel on the travel. 6.39 to go, first half. Rose, who's 6'7", and Brian Reeves, who's 7 feet tall, even in points. Rose has six rebounds to none for Reeves. That's surprising. We noticed in the first game today, Wake Forest playing where Tim Duncan had problems with the smaller people playing underneath him. Reeves is having the same kind of problems. Now Eddie Sutton steps him out to try to get some movement on his part. Terry Collins and Andre Owens back in for Oklahoma State. Warren Williams comes in for the first time for Drexel and Pierce there also open. He's got eight points. And, and Dickey has eight, which obviously he's on track to be way above his average. But tonight he can score 30. I mean, it's just foul shots. And you want Pierce to beat you as opposed to the other two, Rutherford and Reeves. And he's got to mentally get himself ready to take a lot of shots tonight. Michigan leading Western Kentucky by five. Tulane in a tight game with Brigham Young. Maryland ahead of Gonzaga by 11. Here's Yoder working against Pierce. And Rose hard off the glass. Owens comes down. Drexel gets back defensively pretty well. Owens puts it up. Got it away. And for Oklahoma State, it's one shot that out. And you see Reeves again with no rebounds. And Rose just absolutely took that away from him. Beat him to the spot, got up above him. Rose, short, gets the rebound. Fighting up, no foul. And Rutherford got a piece of the ball nicely inside. Probably Rutherford, the only guy in Oklahoma State that could have stopped that play with his rebounding ability. Here's Reeves. And they're going to call the foul inside on Yoder of Drexel. That'll be the third team foul is all for the Dragons. Before the shot, see how they pack it in. Rose didn't get there quite in time. I really think that it was an offensive foul. Yoder didn't do anything other than hold his ground. Oklahoma State led seven to two early on. Drexel did not score for seven minutes or so, and then Drexel had a one-point lead. And right now, Oklahoma State by three. Reeves, 68% free throw shooter, Big Eight Player of the Year as a sophomore. I'll tell you what, he's been playing a lot lately. In the last six games, he's been all but eight minutes, so he has been a weary cowboy, especially coming through the tough Big 8 tournament. There you see some of the honors for Brian Reeves. Yep, he was the first sophomore since uh, Manning, Danny Manning, to win the Player of the Year in the Big 8. First sophomore to lead the league in scoring since Wilt Chamberlain, the guy you were talking about from Overbrook. That's where Malik Rose is attended high school he gets both free throws and Keani Roberts will come in and Reeves is going to take a breather right now remember he has played a lot lately especially through the tournament well I think what Eddie Sutton did was a very smart move to put Reeves up high and get the offense moving in other words don't just lock him down in the low post that way it made it harder for Drexel to go ahead and double and triple team him. Cowboys by five Redmond to Holden good fake on Rutherford and Holden Nails it. Holden has eight points. He's the high scorer for Drexel. Before Rose came on board, Holden was uh, leading scorer two years in a row. All conference two years in a row. He's already hit two three-point shots tonight. And now it's Roberts, the man that is not being guarded. Pierce not looking at the basket. Looking to pass. Oh, nice. Oh. 
Great move inside, and the foul will be against Malik Rose, and that will be his first foul. Excellent fake by Roberts. Reeves not used to playing him. I mean, Rose not used to playing a man that far from the basket. Rose going to sit down, take a rest. It's a nice move by Bill Heron. He feels that Reeves on the bench don't wait, waste his strength. George Hudgens, who started the game at forward from Chattanooga, Tennessee, has come in, and David Fry, sophomore from Kansas City. So Rose sits down. So Reeves and Rose, the two centers on the bench right now. Oh, nice backdoor cut. Rutherford. Beautiful backdoor cut by Rutherford. So quick. Fourth point for Rutherford, 21-16. Oklahoma State leading as we wind down four minutes remaining in the first half. Warren Williams handling the ball for the first time. He's been in there for a few minutes. Holden, top of the key, hits his third. Three-point basket to bring Drexel to within a pair. That was a terrific play because Collins is an excellent defender, and he faked him out. Picked up Roberts and still got the shot off. You gotta like Holden's poise out there. He's a senior, fifth year senior with that transfer from BU. The only senior in the starting lineup. Rutherford misses a runner, but Owens is there in the lane, tries to pass inside to Roberts. And they're gonna call the foul against Drexel. It'll be their fifth team foul. I thought Fry had a piece of the ball there, but not quite in time. And Jeff Myers, who's started the game and averages 12 a game, and his second top rebounder will replace Warren Williams. We have a timeout with three minutes, 40 seconds remaining in the first half. They third in the nation in field goal percentage, but so far they are eight points under that, shooting 43% thus far against Drexel in a tight game, leading by only two. Remember the last out-of-bounds play, a good move by Rutherford. He screened up and cut back to the basket. This time they set a double for him, trying to get him to come off for the jumper. And Reeves. Reeves in the game, and he picks up his second foul. Malik Rose also comes back in, so both big men check in the lineup. Uh, well, Bill Harrion uh, might realize that Eddie Sutton's taken four different teams to the Final Four, and this is, I mean, to the NCAA tournament. This is his second appearance in the NCAA tournament, but a nice little juggling maneuver there. Reeves goes out, so does Rose, and they bring him back in simultaneously. Redmond controlling. Just hold it. Myers. Redmond trying to get a step on Owens. Good defensive play by Pierce, leaving Myers free. Malik Rose gets the rebound, and Pierce fouled him. There's a reason why this guy is the second leading rebounder in the nation, Dick. He's got great hands, great ability to get underneath the basketball, moves his feet before he ever goes in the air, so he goes up strong, and he takes about 240 pounds up with him every time he goes. 16 foul, the next one will put Drexel into the bonus. And this time the foul will be called against Drexel. Offensive foul in regard to setting the screen, so we see it on both ends. That's going to probably put Rose on the bench here for the last 3.09. They can ill afford to have him in any further trouble. Rose goes out four points and eight rebounds, half of them off the offensive glass, and that's a lot more than Brian Reeves has. Reeves still the goose egg off the glass. Well, I think that you see Eddie Sutton doing more of putting him outside and then going inside. Under three minutes to go, and Drexel has given Oklahoma State a pesky battle here in this first half after not scoring for seven and a half minutes. Wow, Reeves on a foul. And they oh, that's, foul. That's not a good piece of officiating there because Reeves came across the lane, almost knocked Yoder out of bounds, and then they called the comeback. Yoder picking up his second foul, so Oklahoma State a big favorite here, and now it'll be one and one at the line for Reeves and Oklahoma State. Cowboys coming in, having won the Big Eight tournament, which tough thing to do considering how tough that conference was. Drexel, the North Atlantic tournament champions, more than holding their own. Went through that tournament beating Nebraska by 20, then Oklahoma, and then Iowa State. We see the foul. Ran right into him. Oh, sure, there was a foul, and they missed the first foul. Now they call this one as the second foul. Without question, and that wouldn't have been a very smart play on Reeves' part. He makes them both, so Reeves now has eight points, but he has yet to pick up his first rebound of the game. Leland Redmond from Houston.
Austin, Texas, the freshman point guard for Drexel, number 12. Gambling for the steal was Owens. His ball and losing it out of bounds with George Hudgens. Hudgens not with good hands and a tough pass because he anticipated his shot was going up. 11th turnover by the Dragons. Less than two and a half to play in the first half. That's the turnover story. Let's see if Oklahoma State get the ball to Reeves again. You notice how he's setting up outside, then going to the low post. Here's Reeves against Hutchins. And the rebound, Yoder had it taken away inside by Keone Roberts. He gets the basket and gets the foul as well. Terrific hustle by Roberts on the inside. And really a big turnover for Drexel. Keandi Roberts started the first 12 games of the season and played big in the Big 8 tournament. You can see Yoder came down with it, could not get a handle. Roberts with the good hands and a turnaround jumper. Jason Yoder with three fouls now, and so that's not good news for Drexel because next to Malik Rose, he's their biggest player at 6'10", actually the tallest on the team. He's got three, and Roberts misses a chance for a three-point play. And it's... Still Oklahoma State's ball. Good hustle by Rutherford. Roberts, a 51% free throw shooter. And that'll cost you. David Fry in. And Yoder out with three fouls. If you're Bill Harry, and all you want now is to occupy that ball some and go in and not let this game break out. They've kept it so close for a good portion of this half. Biggest lead of the game, believe it or not, for Oklahoma State is six right now at 25-19. Three-second violation against Oklahoma State. I didn't see anyone in the left. Well, well, what was interesting there, Reeves realized Hudgens can't even possibly stay with him. It's kind of like a fly on an elephant's back, <laughs> and he was just maneuvering him around. But he camped out in the lane a while. But it was a quick three seconds call compared to uh, his offensive foul a few uh, possessions ago. Holden, who's hit a few threes, three of them to be exact, can't get unleashed from there. Nice step out, good defense by Roberts. Holden, fake Roberts in the air. Here's Redman, and it's tipped by Owens into the hands of Rutherford, and Drexel gets it back. Myers goes low. Hutchins. Myers has the block. He went up against Reeves, and all Reeves had to do was put his elbow up there. And Eddie Sutton screaming at the officials. He's just trying to get something going. He's a really a fiery competitor. And traveling call against Holden. Couldn't find someone to get the ball to. That was a wild possession for Drexel. Had so many opportunities for decent shots. Ended up taking bad ones. 102 remaining in the first half. 12 turnovers for Drexel. Half for Oklahoma State. 25-19 favor of the Cowboys who are trying to advance to the second round. They haven't gone beyond the second round since they got to the round of 16 in 1992. Oh, it's not looking for the shot. Everybody wanted to go inside. Reeves, basket good and a foul. Good turnaround under the hoop. He's in double figures. But what Eddie Sutton has done now is he's puts Reeves on, on the perimeter. Then he passes the ball. Then Reeves moves into the post. He was having all kinds of problems posting up first. And here you can see everybody around him. He takes the baseline maneuver and with that wide body clears out for path for himself. Reeves four for four from the line. And perfect three point play. And it's 28 to 19, a nine point lead. Reeves now with 11. Holden has 11 for Drexel, number 21. Reeves with over 2,000 points and 1,000 rebounds in his career. One of five big eight players that have ever done that. Seven second differential on the clocks. Fry. Oklahoma State doing a great job defending against the perimeter. They are. Turnover, Rutherford goes the distance, knocked out of bounds, and Oklahoma State will keep the ball with a little over 20 seconds to go. Drexel with Rose on the bench, Dick. Uh, it really is trying to score everything from the perimeter, and Oklahoma State really doing a good job defending that. Rose picked up two fouls and went to the bench. Meanwhile, the Cowboys have run off seven in a row here. Going to go for the last shot. Not a bad idea. They could get over double figures if they connect. Double screen for coming up for Rutherford, but good job by Holden. He beats him. 
Missing, bringing the basket is Scott Pierce. Holden gets the rebound as time runs out. And that is the end of the first half with the score. Oklahoma State 28 and Drexel 19. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship will continue after this message and a word from your local station. Is there such a thing as a lease that's fun? Remember, Rose has given up four inches. And nobody doubling down that time. That was just one-on-one. -on -one. They're double-teaming Rose inside now. And Rose is fouled by Reeves. Reeves picks up his third personal foul. Let's take a look at the halftime statistics. And we mentioned the rebounding edge by Drexel, but they're only shooting 28% and have gone to the free throw line only twice tonight so far. Both teams took 25 shots in that first half. Oklahoma State, an excellent defensive team, particularly on the perimeter. They just didn't give any easy jump shots. So on the free throw line is Malik Rose, who's a 72 percenter. Makes the first one. The Dragons started out 0 for 10 from the field in the first half. In fact, they didn't get their first point until after seven and a half minutes had gone by. Their first basket came at the 841 mark. Yet they hang in there, trailing by eight. One out of two at the line for Rose. And let's see if somebody is willing to take some outside jump shots. Pierce is the guy. He's looking to pass when nobody's guarding him on the shot. Pierce scored eight points. Left open in the first half. Missing is Owens and Rose. Great hands. Now you know see why he's the second leading board man in the nation. Right. Kurt Thomas led the nation in rebounding and scoring. Only two guys have ever done that. The history of college basketball. Hudgens to Rose, swings it around, sets a screen for Holden. In and out. Reeves gets his first rebound of the game. Took a long time coming for a big country to uh, snare one. Eight point lead, Oak State. Collins open, two point attempt. Reeves crashes the boards, fouled by Hudgens. Pretty good foul. He had an automatic put back. And we talked about, about what happened in the Alabama game with McDeese constantly up on the on the boards. So here's Reeves as an easy put back, so they foul and make him go to the line to earn him. And they'll give it to uh, Redmond instead of Hutchins. So Redmond with his first foul, and here is uh, Bryant Reeves. Five for five from the free throw line. Really consistent the last three years. This is his best scoring season at 21.4 points a game. You wouldn't know it. He hasn't gotten on track except at the line. 13 double doubles on the year, only fouled out of one game. Knows how important it is for Oklahoma State to have him on the court. So he's played intelligent basketball as well. Gans, Oklahoma, ending his great college career. Here is Malik Rose. Good paint. Excellent. I like this guy. Yep. Shoulder, turned the head, looked at the basket in the other direction, and really froze the defense. He had 21 points and 13 rebounds in the title game in the North Atlantic Conference against Northeastern. Collins misses the three. Reeves is blocked out nicely, or Pierce was by Rose. To be a big basket here. Ten rebounds for Rose. Keeping Drexel in the basketball game. That's exactly what Bill Heron wants. You know, you come out that second half and get it back down, stay in the game as long as you can. That was Terry Collins on the personal foul, his first. I tell you, you can see how good a coach Bill Herrian is. Everyone says he's uh, got great things in store for him as Pierce sits down and is replaced by Keonti Roberts. Now Bill, an assistant coach under Mike Jarvis at both Boston U and GW. Mike Jarvis, who uh, really showed some incredible sportsmanship this Sunday on that selection show in regard to his comments about the NCAA selection. Redmond threw up the air ball, and Oklahoma State will get it back. It looks easy, but it isn't easy to swallow it like that, knowing that uh, you really had great credentials to get into the tournament. You can't please everybody, but I thought Jarvis, and you mentioned it in the studio, showed a world of class. He sure did. You can always uh, win even if you lose when you show that touch of class as you've been. Rutherford with a three, and that's his first three-point basket. Only his seventh point of the game. Remember, he's averaging 20 on the season. Myers doing a fine job on him. One of the few times he's had an open look at the basket. 11-point lead is the biggest of the game now for Oklahoma State. Looking to advance to the second round against Alabama. 
Redmond misses, and Reeves gets a rebound. One of the few times that Gross has misjudged a rebound. Owens, off the hands of Roberts, turns it over. Tough pass to catch. Cornelius Overby has come into the game for Drexel. So Manhattan and Miami of Ohio scored upsets today. Arizona, final 14 last year, gets knocked out. Alabama beat Penn in overtime. And a record of a combined 42 points sets an NCAA record for overtime. Myers had a screen from Rose. Rose will take it over. Reeves off the mark. Out of the pack comes Andre Owens. Great feed to Keontae Roberts, put in by Reeves on the putback. Uh, Roberts, who did not catch the last one very well that time, on the run, made a nice play just to get that ball up on the backboard. Well, now it's a 13-point game. Reeves with 15 points and four rebounds all here in the second half. Holden goes in, and they'll call the blocking foul against Roberts. The officiating crew has had a hard time in this game, although it's not a game that's uh, that tight. I have to question some of these judgments. It looked like Roberts was just waiting on Holden to come down the lane in that one. Brian Holden, 80% free throw shooter, best on the team. All conference team, three years in a row. Top score of the last two years, and Malik Rose took over that honor this season. Here is Fry back in, and Hudgens checking out. Not only all conference regular season, but both times he was all tournament as well. Solid ball player. He's got them both. Nearly four minutes have gone by here in the second half. 12 point lead. And here again, you see Reeves playing on the outside. Eddie Sutton out of the coaching box on the floor there to give instructions. He's the sixth man. Yep. Actually, it's an 11 point game. It's 35 24. Fry trying to stay with Roberts behind a Rutherford. I tell you, Myers, pretty good solid defense to stand right with Rutherford. Collins won't drop for him. Reeves, though, is there, and he's fouled. Now, this is a tough foul. Bird on Malik Rose. Rose has got to be careful. He doesn't want to be talking to that official very much. He's got three. Three on Rose. Reeves has three, but of course it affects Oklahoma State less than Drexel, considering the depth of these teams. Reeves at the free throw line has not missed so far tonight. Seven for seven. The rest of the team has not made one. Of course, had one of the Real great individual games this season. 33 points, 20 rebounds against Kansas. Just a sensational performance when you figure the inside power that Kansas has with their three. Ostertag. Big man, yep. Pollard, Ostertag. 17 for Reeves and a timeout. Drexel to 26%. Reeves starting to cook now. Rose on the bench with three personal fouls already in double figures in rebounds. 37 to 24 in favor of the Cowboys. Aaron White trying to win their 24th game of the year for Eddie Sutton. What's tough if you're Drexel is to stay in the game plan here. You know, you look up at that scoreboard, down 13. They have an excellent game plan, particularly on defense. Overby missed the three, and Holden ran into Brian Reeves. For Holden, that will be his second foul. Tulane, eight points over Brigham Young. Tulane down most of the first half in that ball game. And it looks like Gonzaga's come back a bit against Maryland. Terry Collins is uh, out of the game, and Jason Scare from Deer Park, Texas, is the freshman replaces him. There are two freshmen that come off the bench for Eddie Sutton's Cowboys. Owens wide open. Now Scare wide open. Owens will shoot for three. Long rebound. He picks it up. And they're going to call the pushing foul. See if they call that on Overby. I think it's going to be on Fry pushing from the back inside. Tough break. 
for Drexel. They're having a hard enough time getting the ball here in the second half. So that is the third foul on David Fry. 14 fouls for Drexel. Oak State just three. Oklahoma State has won three in a row. They've been a hot team lately, seven out of nine. And 13 of their last 16 games. Here's Reeves at the top. Again, Owens given wide open jump shots. You can't let this man have a wide open jump shot. Rutherford for three, and that's his second. So Randy Rutherford is in double figures. Remember, he had 45 points against Kansas, including 11 three pointers in a big win against the Jayhawks. He's had five 30 plus point games this year. Malik Rose with three fourth. fouls picks up number four now. And you might tired. as well keep him in there because it's not going to do any good taking him out with his team down by 16. Well, this is why you're not coaching, Dick. He's coming out right now. <laughs> and not only not coaching, but he has a great coach on the sideline. Uh, got 14 minutes to go, and I, I, I couldn't disagree with you because I'll tell you what's going to happen. The spread of this game is going to get wider now, so you might as well let him in and try to stay as, as close as you can, as long as you can. Don't so I have an argument? I would agree with your theory. Jason Yoder is coming to the game. Coming off the screen of Scare, looking for Reeves. Boy, Myers has shown today that he's as good a defensive player as we've seen in the tournament so far. Roberts, no basket, foul. And it might have been Fry before the shot. If it is, it'll be four on Fry. It's starting to get to Drexel right now. A really a, a different level of, uh, of athlete in regard to what we see here on the, the level of play of Drexel and Oklahoma State. Starting to catch up with him right now. Fry will go out of the game and he's replaced by George Hudgens, who has not scored tonight. Coming off the screen, Rutherford. Holden stays with him nicely. I like the patience that Rutherford's showing tonight, too. You know, he's not taking bad shots. Moving well without the ball, looking for the open jump shot. It's like a solid fundamental player. He's a senior along with Reeves. Four seniors started the game tonight for Oklahoma State, and Andre Owens, a junior. And coming back in right now is Scott Pierce. Young man transferred from Illinois, where he played a little bit there. Done a good defensive job throughout the year, especially on Ryan Miner, held him to 13 points and a big win over Oklahoma. Sooners got knocked out. They really did. Maybe the shock so far of day one, beaten by Manhattan. Scare for three. He's got it. Jason Scare, who improved his three-point shooting lately, actually in the last 12 games has been 50% from that range. Joe Heron wants a timeout, gets his team to bring it up. It's right in front of the bench. This will be their last shot right here, Dick. 43-24, Oklahoma State pulling away. Hula. Welcome back here to Baltimore, where Oklahoma State has opened up a 19-point lead. They were up a few moments ago by 22 against Drexel. And Eddie Sutton put uh, Brian Reeves on the bench. And just running for Nelson. the future, yep. John Nelson has replaced him, a freshman 6'11" from West Fork, Arkansas. Reeves coming back in the game as we say that with 10 minutes to go. Coming off that uh, MVP performance in the Big 8, you figured maybe he'd get some minutes because this game certainly not in doubt for Oklahoma State. Taken down by Terry Collins. He's got Scare who lays it in. And by the way, while we were gone, Jason Yoder fouled out having not scored. Interesting that dr the Dragons at Drexel have only three players who have scored tonight. Myers, Rose, and Holden. Holden leads with 15. Firing and missing from the corner is Overby, and we'll have a foul against Oklahoma State. I'll tell you, Rose with another tremendous effort on the inside. He carries a lot of weight around. Reeves will come back in the game along with Keontae Roberts, and we'll have the freshman point guard, Leland Redmond, Check in for Drexel. You know, I'm, I'm Dick, I'm, I'm looking at Rose out there, and I realize this is a reach, but he reminds me a lot of Charles Barkley. You know, I made that statement inside. Now, he's got a lot of things of his game that he'd have to work on in order to develop in that kind of player. You know, putting the ball on the floor, some developing a jump shot, but with his hands, his body, his timing, and his 
He has a nice feel for the game. Very active, quick. And those people who saw Charles Barkley play in his last college game, which was a loss by Auburn to Richmond, certainly would have been impressed at that time that he'd become one of the real great players in the world. But uh, this young man has a lot of ability. Well, if his high school means anything, a lot of players have come out over besides Will Chamberlain, uh, Wayne Hightower, and of course the guy who led UCLA to their first national championship. Right. Walt Hazard. 16-point lead for Maryland. And the one consistent part of Eddie Sutton's entire coaching career has been defensive pressure on the ball. You can see that in this Oklahoma State team. Malik Rose with his ninth point of the game. He has 12 rebounds. Pretty good job against Oklahoma State. Rose is a junior. He'll be back. Reeves works his way in against Rose. I'll tell you, Rose has really given yep, Reeves there's another game. rebound for him. Good Myers. hand to Meyer. Myers banks it in. And no quit in this ball club. Down by 17. And there's a push off. Yep. Meyer's going to get a chance to go the line. 50 to 33. And you're going to see Jeff Myers, a sophomore from Philadelphia, sixth in the nation in steals as a freshman. Transferred from St. Francis in New York, where he found himself with that great stat. And had to sit out last year. There's Rutherford, who has scored 10 points back in, replacing Scare. I think I mentioned where, uh, you know, Rose and Kurt Thomas battled for the rebounding honors this year. They played against each other last year. TCU played against... Uh, Drexel, Thomas was 9 for 19, 21 points, 12 rebounds. Rose had 14 points, 4 rebounds in 21 minutes. Pretty good work. Reeves has just picked up personal foul number 4. Which I think is also a testament to the fact that Rose has given him all he can handle. Reeves did not have a rebound in the first half tonight. Has 9 so far here. We have 8.26 remaining. And it's 50 to 33 and Malik Rose. And Reeves, without another power rebounder on his ball club, has done a fine job himself in regard to staying out of foul trouble. You mentioned earlier, only one time this year as he fouled out of a ball game. Missed the front end, but last touch by Oklahoma State. Holden looking inside for Rose. Myers, top of the key. Redmond going around Owens. Nowhere to go with it. Tried a tough bounce pass. And they're going to call a Drexel foul this time. Hudgens not having much of a ball yeah. game at all. Just didn't beat it to the spot. Interesting that Hudgens is having the same kind of game that Kegler of Penn had in the previous game yep. against uh, Alabama, where it just didn't happen for him. Well, Alabama so quick out there on the perimeter, he never had an opportunity to get a spot-up jumper. Except, remember, Dick, the very first shot he had of the night, a wide-open shot from about 15 feet, and that was about it. There's Big Country, who looks tired, 17 points. And Rutherford, now one for two from the line, makes good here. Young man was four times player of the week in the Big 8 this year. All Big 8 first team. A great stroke. Holden. Gets it low to Rose. Myers is open. Top of the key. Three-point attempt. Hudgens tries to keep it alive, but it's cleared by Pierce. You know, the other thing about Rose that you like, he's a very unselfish basketball player. Even on a team where he basically dominates, and a league that he dominates, that time he just got down too low. Eddie Sutton, we saw him earlier today when Oklahoma State came for their shootout, and he showed us the tie he was wearing, which is not the one he has on tonight, given to him by President Clinton. Yes, he said that if they win today, they may go down to the White House. Yeah, a little early. Most teams go after they win a national championship. So I guess Eddie has a little pull with the president. Yeah. With uh, President Clinton, if you're Oklahoma State, and Eddie Sutton, you go after winning the first round. That's right. I didn't think that tie was that attractive compared to the one he has on now. Well, I'm not going to take any political sides that way, let's face it. That wasn't a political side. Was that was, uh, oh, there it is. You can see how Rose is so tired, he almost couldn't get up to put that away, and he just shakes his head. But a terrific game on this young man's part tonight. 
He is tired. He's worked so hard against Brian Reeves. Here he comes in again. Now watch, he almost can't get this above the rim. <laughs> oh, he squeezed it in. He's had to work hard tonight. Yep. Lead for Oklahoma State. Their biggest lead was 22. Full court pressure for the first time today. And Bryant Reeves, of course, is a guy. There's his mom and dad up there. Carl and Carolyn Reeves from Gans, Oklahoma. Today was the first time that Bryant's mom has ever been on an airplane from Tulsa here to, uh, uh, to, to Washington, D.C., Baltimore. And you remember back in the, his freshman year when they were going to the NIT, that was Brian's first trip to a plane. I remember Eddie Sutton said, the kid didn't want to play in the NIT. I couldn't figure out why. He said, man, I'm not getting on any airplanes. So today's the first trip his mom had on a plane. His two younger brothers are home. They have never flown yet. Right now, let's send it to Sean McDonough and Bill Raftery, Michigan, Western Kentucky. Lewis and right now Oklahoma State running away from Drexel with the 337 to go Brian Reeves fouled out for only the second time this year wound up with 21 points 11 rebounds and three block shots at Western Kentucky not an upset they were seated eighth as opposed to Michigan ninth and one of the things that's kind of interesting that is the end of the Fab Five mm, yeah the you know, final two that's right two years uh, that they didn't get to the final four this year they didn't not get out of the first round so uh, kind of an interesting period of history as far as uh, five kids that came into school together and captured the hearts of america for their freshman and sophomore years but they never will get that national championship that they talk about winning all four they never got one nor a conference championship sometimes it's the uh, chemistry that counts as much as the number the, the kind of talent you have on a team Tulane leading Brigham Young 76 to 70 323 to go in this game and uh, you talked about uh, the fact that Brian Reese had never been on a plane and didn't want to play in the NIT and his parents here and his mother flying for the first time a terrific story Billy of uh, big country and his folks from Gans Oklahoma Gans Oklahoma you know who visited him twice in the recruitment down in Gans no one of the nation's top fishermen who's also a coach on a recruiting trip. What do you think that would have been to see if he might be interested in attending his school? Who's Bob Knight. Bob Knight wanted to go down and fish and also take a look at him as a high school prospect. Ended up probably catching some fish, but Eddie Sutton caught the prospect. And Sutton caught the big fish. Hold it to Myers. Holden has had a solid game, as has Myers today. Holden gets the re offensive rebound, knocked away. And here comes Keani Roberts ahead to Rutherford. And great defensive play by Myers, but following it up is Scott Pierce. Well, Rutherford is an outstanding athlete, but Myers really has played well against him tonight. I think it just shocked Rutherford that, that Myers could chase him down from the backside. Here says 12. You're right. Malik Rose. That's what you wonder if he can do. Can he hit that jump shot from the outside? Because at 6'5, he's going to have to be a forward if he goes to the next level, but certainly has that potential. He really works hard. He's given tremendous effort out here. Both teams shooting a two every time they go to the line. Jeff Myers committing the foul. Hey. I want to show you something on the Drexel. You see that E right there? You spell Drexel with an E, correct, Nick? You're an outstanding uh, student from Syracuse. Yes, thank you. Can you imagine that the T-shirts that were made by the NCA, and I won't, I won't blame any particular person here, for Drexel spelled Drexel A-L. They've had to have been taken off the marketplace. That's not so bad. The deacons of Wake Forest were spelled incorrectly as were the Billikens 
So you have three, so out, three, of, out, of three, four. three out of the eight teams yeah, that but, were here yeah, had T-shirts with the name misspelled, so they had to be taken off the marketplace. Well, three out of eight is not 50%. <laughs> not, I mean, uh, Billy, I thought they could get you a, probably get you a B, right? A high B. That was a spelling school. Pierce goes out of the ball game. He has scored 13. He was open early. But, you know, the value of those shirts that are misspelled yeah. probably be better than the ones that were You're right. have to reprint. I bet you you buy a couple of those. Malik Rose misses, and Nelson gets the rebound. Very similar to the Penn situation at the end of the first half that he's standing there with the rebound, gets it stolen for a putback. It is 66 to 42 with 212 remaining here in Baltimore, Oklahoma State, heading on to the second round where they will meet Alabama on Saturday in the first game of our doubleheader then. And the one thing you say when you look at uh, a team that has really turned out to be a mismatch here is how well Drexel fought all the way, how well the guy at the free throw line, Malik Rose, second leading rebounder, but just at 6'7", if that much, battled Big Country Reeves and how good a coach team this Drexel team is. Holden, another guy that had an outstanding game. Here comes Owens, lost control, and Nelson who replaced Reeves at center, loses the rebound. And the rebound ball taken down by Warren Williams. Here is Myers missing the three. Nelson clears it. Rose, by the way, with 15 points and 17 rebounds against Oklahoma State. He'll remember this game, even though his team comes up empty. Nelson missed, and Scare puts it in. That shows you how tired Rose is. See, he couldn't even get his hands over there to grab a rebound. He'd normally just snatch away. Oklahoma State, one of the top field goal percentage defensive teams in the country, have limited Drexel to just 23% from the field in this game. And there's a basket that will count by Rose and a foul as well. He's still going like it's even. Fouled his own shot, got a rebound, put it back up. He's had a fine game. They empty the bench now. Jake Bunting coming in. Drexel, 23% from the field. Reeves, before he fouled out, had 21 points, 11 rebounds. None of them in the first half. And Rose with an outstanding game. So Rose, easily the outstanding player for Drexel tonight. This is his 58th career double double. And Oklahoma State looking to face Alabama, a team that will present a very quick and active front line, Billy, on Saturday. It'll be interesting to see how they defend Brian Reeves. And they, they're deep. You know, Rodgers could come in off the bench, too, as an outstanding shot blocker. Be anxious to see how Reeves uses that big body against the guys of equal size, but maybe a, a little bit more quickness. Antonio McDice had a big game. Brian Riley has come in for Drexel. Rose still going at it, firing away, missing. Bunting misses, and there at the other end is Nelson. This will be interesting. Basket still shaking from that quake. Amazingly enough, Drexel, who didn't score a field goal for the first eight and a half minutes, actually had a lead of 14 to 13 in the first half in a very strange game, and then Oklahoma State turned it on. It was a nine-point game after the first half. So this is our story on Saturday. It'll be Alabama against Oklahoma State in the first game, and that should be a dandy. And Wake Forest, the number one seed against St. Louis. Waiting moments here at Baltimore, and what an exciting day it has been in this Eastern Region first round because two games have gone overtime. Two overtime ball games, very well played. Basket there by Chris Coles, a senior from Glenside, Pennsylvania, playing his last game. So the Drexel seniors. Brian Holden playing his last game, and he scored 15 points, including three three-pointers. And there is Brian Reeves. Oklahoma will go on. And our Chevrolet players of the game, Malik Rose, 18 rebounds to go along with the 17 points. He'll be back next year, and Brian Reeves, 21 and 11.
on the line for Oklahoma State, number 35. Andre Owens with two at the line. And that's not the high rebounds of the year for Rose. He had 19 against Boston U. Oklahoma State has not advanced beyond the second round since 1992. They got to the round of 16 in 91 and 92, so they're going to try to finally break that uh, barrier. Last year, they lost to Tulsa in the second round after beating New Mexico State. They get their shot against Alabama, and that'll be a tough game. It will be. Team that won the conference championship of the conference that was rated number one in difficulty this year, so. Number 14. Obviously, you've got to respect them. Jake Bunning hit the shot. Final seconds. Alexander deflected off, and the game is over. And the final score, Oklahoma State 73, Drexel 49, as Eddie Sutton congratulates a coach you're going to hear about, Bill Herrian. Jim Nance will be along with the scores and highlights. That's the story here. Oklahoma State advances. They're now 24 and 9. Drexel finishes 22 and 8. For Billy Packer, this is Dick Stockton saying so long from the Baltimore Arena. to the second round here at Baltimore Arena in the East Region as the road to the Final Four continues. And in the first of two games today, it'll be...